For the production logo, we added a flickery sound to, to match the flickering of the picture. Here at the beginning of the titles, we decided to apply a high pass filter to the song so that the viewer feels like they are outside the venue. During the party scene, people are seen holding alcoholic drinks. This could account for the main character's loss of memory. For the flashback or flash forward clips, we applied a stock effect from Final Cut. It creates a bad TV effect that makes it seem as though what is happening is hazy and hard to remember. We used this song for our titles because we felt that the energy of the sound fitted the energy of the footage. When the camera flashes, we cut the sound and applied another filter that made the sound sound hazy as though it was a faint memory. As the film transitions from the night before to the daytime shot, we made sure that Dan, the main character, was wearing the same clothes. The sound fades into the scene, indicating that Dan has woken up from the night before. Behind him there is a police warning notice, implying that he is in a dangerous area. There is also very bright lighting in contrast to the last scene, which is almost like reality hitting him in the face. The fact that his shoes come off indicates a heavy night. He then pulls a piece of paper from his pocket which has a code on it. The lighting obstructs the audience's view of it so they can't read it which adds another enigma to the scene. The scene has a blue filter added to give it a colder feel, making Dan seem more alone. The scene opens with a mid shot showing him isolated and alone. The camera pans upwards as he stands up and puts on his shoe. There is a close up on this paper indicating that it could be important or relevant in, later on in the film. There is a slow pace at the start of the scene to show him recollecting his thoughts. It increases later on to show his franticness as he tries to get hold of his friends. Dan then takes out his phone from his pocket and begins calling anyone who may know what happened to him. This is a key prop which is shown by how early on it appears in the film. It is Dan's only way of finding out what happened to him. There is a mid shot which shows Dan to the right side of the screen which applies the rule of thirds showing the background and the isolation of the area. The cuts build up in speed as they lead to the up to climax of Dan's first clue as to what may have happened to him. Dan's clothes are an indicator of what a typical guy he is and reminds the viewer that this is a very odd situation for a regular guy to be in. The sound in this scene is almost all diegetic and quite quiet, indicating Dan's desolate location. There is then a 360 degree shot around Dan whilst he's on the phone, showing his empty surroundings. The sound at the end of the phone call manipulates in a similar way to the source style voice to make it feel more menacing. At the very end we applied the same bad TV effect to the video to create a jittery transition to the end of the title of the film.